as a small U.S. company, it's important to be a part of the CEO program because we're able to take full advantage of the influence and capability of the U.S. Department of Commerce and to reach stakeholders and to reach to organizations and people that we wouldn't otherwise be able to on our own. And so being a part of the U.S. Pavilion and having the full engagement of the team that is here, not only in South Africa, but in Sub-Saharan Africa as a whole, gives us an advantage of being able to schedule and schedule meetings, meet with folks, and not only being able to expand our business, but having people reaching out through the Commerce Department of the U.S. government wanting to reach out to us. And that's something that we couldn't have done on our own. And so for us, that is a, a unique benefit that is invaluable for our company and for our outreach here in the southern part of Africa. So offshore wind is kind of the cutting edge of technology for renewable energy development. And so as renewable energy develops, there's kind of a stepwise process where you maybe start with small solar projects and you grow into larger projects, wind, small wind projects, larger um, wind projects. Offshore wind short circuits that sort of stepwise approach and moves the deployment of renewable energy really very quickly. And here in the southern part of Africa, there is world-class wind resources off the coast of many of these countries. And so being able to deploy in, in shallow waters to do fixed foundation uh, offshore wind, as well as deeper waters to do floating offshore wind, really changes the dynamic for what is possible. And so, you know, the being able to site in, in, in shallow and deep and being able to deliver power directly where we can potentially, you know, mitigate some of the concession constraints that are common here in some of these um, um, power markets is, uh, is unique and valuable and I think puts our company at the cutting edge of being able to deliver on the promise of uh, offshore wind. So we're interested in the African market because some of the best resources for offshore wind are here in, uh, in Africa and specifically here in Southern Africa. And so that is an area of interest. But when you look at the development of offshore wind, there are a number of criteria, a number of factors that give you a, a, a certain confidence that development of a project could be successful. And when, you, when we review those criteria, a lot of the countries here in the southern part of Africa really hit on all of those criteria. World-class wind resources, power prices that support the development of offshore wind, um, governments that are willing and able to engage directly to, 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 and are open to adopting new technology. It's, um, it, it, it's all of that put together makes it possible for companies like Progression Energy to come in and be successful. So um, really looking forward to the possibility of what, is, what can happen. Obviously we're here in, in, in Southern Africa and so there is a certain market that exists here in Southern Africa. But when you think of the continent as a whole, there are enormous possibilities of the African content being involved in renewable energy and be an exporter of um, to exporter to Europe and have Europe benefit from what is possible here in Africa. Um, among the, the the newest sort of thoughts around offshore wind and offshore wind development is the creation of uh, green hydrogen. 
and with some of the world-class wind resources that are available here, not only in Southern Africa, but in the Northwest part of Africa as well, there is the possibility for the continent to produce, use offshore wind to produce green hydrogen and export to Europe. And that could be a game changer in terms of, you know, just looking at the dynamics of what is happening in Europe and energy markets in Europe and having Africa being an exporter to Europe as well. So that's, um, that's, that's a big possibility. And I, and I look forward to seeing how this market develops in the next few years. Well, this is my uh, first time in Africa, and uh, obviously first time in South Africa, and uh, the experience so far has been great. And um, I, I'm hoping that our company can, can not only expand our footprint here, but also be able to bring our, our, our approach to development, which has been successful in other markets, we want to bring that here to the African continent and here to Southern Africa. And that is to develop projects with the idea of reciprocity, to bring stakeholders to the table, making sure that we develop projects in a way that is not extractive, and making sure that local communities have an influence in what gets developed in their neighborhoods and in their backyards, and not only influence what get devel gets developed, but where it gets developed, and making sure that we can mitigate um, a lot of these conflicting sort of priorities of various stakeholders, mitigate that early so that we don't have uh, an industry that experiences a lot of stop, start, stop, start, and just have uh, the investment and the promise of new energy being delivered. So. I, I'm hopeful that we're able to, 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 to see that. Thank you. Thank you.